Welcome back to Black Enterprise Business Report. Our Entrepreneur of the Week is taking cake baking to new heights. Correspondent Shannon Lanier shows us how. Caroline, this week's entrepreneur heated up many headlines, and now he explains how even a sweet success story can take you through the pressure cooker. doing something that you really have a passion for and you like, you never get bored, you never get tired of doing it. Mm -hmm. You constantly expand how to do it differently. And that's exactly what Raven Patrick Deshaun Dennis III, aka Cake Man Raven's, been doing for 30 years, creating delectable treats that he dishes out from his namesake shop. Hey, Cake Man Raven, hey, how how's it going? going? All right. Good. This is nice. Looks like a little cake boutique going on here. Home of the Southern Red Velvet. All right. Nestled in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. His cake creations began at the production house he's dubbed Cakeville, USA, baking up about $1 million annually. So what cake are we gonna make today? We're doing a sponge cake, which is a very light crumb sweet cake. You're not gonna give us a secret to the famous red velvet cake? No, oh. not today. All right, that's grandma's recipe. Right. Okay, let's get started. With those first ingredients learned from Grandma, this South Carolina native started his company right in his own kitchen, but since has created a niche for himself with stunning constructions. We created the world's largest sculpted cake, 600 square feet. Wow. It was sculpted in the shape of the coat of arms of the fraternity. It was made out of red velvet. All right, now it's time for the oven. And we put it in at a 325 degree oven for about 35 minutes. All right. While Cake Man's business has been on the rise, he hit an obstacle last year with disgruntled employees and when New York's health department shut him down for 28 hours. When you check the place out downtown mm -hmm. and you see what's there, the product comes already packaged, mm -hmm. already boxed. So if you're bringing in a closed container and a closed box in the area, there is no preparation. We corrected things and changed things based on what they said was wrong and, um, you know, we move on. Now, I know a lot of CEOs and business owners, they get so busy, like, they're not able to be at their establishment every single day. Do you think that has led to some of the health issues you had? Because I'm traveling and because I'm teaching school in South Carolina for seven months or because I'm in Trinidad or because I'm in Barbados doing the food show, I mean, things like that takes me away from the business. But still, paperwork or dates, and those are the hardest things that you just let slip by because if the permit expires. Despite health department issues, Cake Man Raven says, thanks to loyal customers, business wasn't affected and sales are surging. He's hoping to break 2.5 million next year and believes his cakes speak for themselves. All right, look, sounds like the cake is done. Let's check it out. Ooh, that looks perfect. Scripture is written, the book is done. I think I did pretty good for my first big cake. I believe you did. Thanks, Shannon. And if you know a small business owner who could be our next entrepreneur of the week, send us an email. And don't forget to follow Shannon on Twitter at Mr. Shannon Lanier. And still to come, I've got great vacation hotspots you don't want to miss. <laughs>